Here's a quick look at the very first meter I ever had. It's a Micronta um, model number 22-211. My dad bought it for me from Radio Shack when I was in fifth grade. And open it up, you can see it's an analog meter and it's got resistance measurement and then there's AC and DC voltage and uh, yeah there's the AC volts resistance DC volts down to 0.6 volts and up to 300 300 and up on this if I wanted more like um, 600 volts I'd have to plug directly into here but current current is only in DC 60 microamps minimum and then maximum of 300 milliamps and I remember very distinctly back then I didn't really understand the difference between voltage and current and so I would sometimes hook up a uh, 1.5 volt AA battery to this thing you know put it on 3 volt mode and it would measure 1.5 volts that's fine but then I would try to measure the current of the battery too. I thought that was some defining quality of the battery but uh, of course I just kept blowing fuses when I did that. I think I'll try to open it up here real quick. There is a 0.5 amp fuse that I kept blowing and we got a couple of screws down here. I think my fuse just ran away from me. The workbench is a little tilted. Fortunately, it's tilted in that direction, so anything that rolls off rolls to the back of the workbench there where I have a big board and doesn't end up on the floor. So let me see if I can crack this open somehow. Okay, I finally got it. Had to pry the top panel out of here with a couple of screwdrivers. Now, I don't think I've ever taken this thing apart before, so this is going to be a treat for me. And it looks pretty good. There's got some, all the contacts here are gold plated, so that's decent. There's a, uh, hmm. Let me zoom in. Right there, there's a couple resistors. Or actually, yeah, these are these are regular Bodge resistors right here. Looks like six, six or seven resistors all wired in some series parallel network. And they all go, they all lead back up to here. Not sure why they did that. There's even a little solder blob right there where the, where the contact goes. It just slides right over top of that. those resistors are only connected in circuit when it's in the R1 mode, the lowest resistance range. But everything else looks good. This is of course the, the place for the, the AA battery for the resistance measurement. And nothing too fancy on the other side of the board, just a bunch of precision resistors. Some pots there and a few diodes, I guess for measuring the, uh, the AC voltage. Okay, I cleared off some of the the solder that was on that pad right there so I wicked it off with some solder wick 
And another thing I found is that there's a couple of contacts right here, a couple of metal springy contacts, and that switch, that contact switch gets closed when the tab on the top of the meter goes down inside this hole here, like that. And closes those those two contacts. And what that does is that shorts out the the meter, shorts out the coil of the meter so that you can see if I wiggle it around here, the, the meter moves around quite a bit. But then if I hold the contacts closed, the meter still moves around but not quite as much. And that just dampens any motion uh, when it's in closed up and when it's in transport it just prevents helps to prevent any undue damage but basically that's that's my first meter i ever had i would recommend if any other kids uh, get into electronics that they get started off with some basic analog meter like this none of that none of that newfangled digital multimeter rubbish but um micronta 22-211. Thanks for watching.